Hello everyone and welcome in my new painting video. For those of you who are new here on my channel, my name is Simona and I am creating acrylic and mixed media paintings and also art journal videos, so if you like this type of content I would love to have you as a subscriber. I know that this video came after a very long time, I have a baby girl now, she was born 6 months ago, so I was spending all my time with her. And also to be honest, it was quite a learning curve to find out how to be able to do anything again. <laughs> I had to learn how to manage my time differently so I could get at least something done. I'm sure that many of you can relate to that. This video is in collaboration with Arteza. They contacted me a few months back with an offer to send me some of their paints to try and they were super patient because it took me quite a while to finish this video so thank you Arteza very much. And I would also like to mention that I was not paid to make this video. I just tried their paints and I will give you my honest opinion. So to start my painting I've covered the whole canvas with burnt sienna diluted with lots of water. I don't know why it's like that and if it's only me, maybe let me know in the comment if it's something you struggle with too, but it's so hard to start on a blank white canvas. It's quite intimidating, but it's also really hard to judge my values. So that's why I covered my entire canvas and then I transfer my sketch onto it using transfer paper. I was using transfer paper by Arteza, it was okay, I didn't make any mess and I like the fact that it's not super dark so my sketch is visible but it will be easily covered. I decided to paint this ballerina again. I've already painted this in one of my previous art journal videos, but I really wanted to paint it again on a much larger scale. And I also tried to go for a more impressionistic look. Sometimes I have a real problem to focus way too much on some of the details, trying to everything be perfect and honestly I don't like that. So recently I am really trying to get over this habit and paint more loosely and freely, not uh, strive for perfection in the manner of creating something super realistic, but focus more on the feelings and the flow and really enjoy the process. Like you could see and like I do almost in my every art piece, I also added some collage papers and pieces of fabric. I just love mixed media and it's so much fun for me to create more texture. Now before I will continue working on my painting, I would like to tell you a few words about those paints. So the artist has sent me a pack of their premium acrylic paints. It's a pack of 60 colors which you can see here and also a pack of 36 metallic paints. This is how the package looks. It's all the 60 regular paints and here you can see that I made a paint swatches like I always do when I'm trying new paints. And here you can see all the metallic colors and I also made swatches for them. And look how shiny some of those metallic colors are. To be honest with you, when Arteza contacted me for the first time, I was like, okay, why not? Uh, but I didn't expect very much. I tried quite a few paints and now I'm basically working all the time with my two favorite paint brands. But I was so surprised how much I like them. They have great texture. I was so afraid that they would be more on the thinner side because of the low price, but they are not. Their texture is quite thick, which is something I really like and I am used to. The color range is also pretty great. The only color I didn't like so much from the range I was using in this painting was the Naples yellow, but all the other colors I was using were great. The metallic paints are something I was genuinely curious about because I love using metallic paints. For those of you who watched some of my videos before, you probably know that I really like iridescent paints by PBO, so I cannot wait to try. In my painting I tried some of the pinks and they were okay, but I wasn't super impressed, but I absolutely loved 
the gold colors, especially Aztec gold, pearl, copper gold, so hard to pronounce, and bronze. I, I also think that I will like the blues, especially pearl electric blue and pearl turquoise. I didn't use them in my painting, but when I was making swatches, they look really nice to me. To cut a long story short, I am really happy to have the opportunity to try those paints because I really like them and some of them I will definitely add between my, my favorite colors. And another thing about these paints I was surprised about was the price, especially for this good quality. I think if you want to start painting and don't want to invest too much, but at the same time you don't want to use some cheap hobby paints, I would honestly recommend these paints. I really hope that this review was useful for you. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment. And also Arteza is offering a 10% coupon code for my viewers. So if you want to check those paints, I will put links in the description below the video. Coupon code is SELASART1 and it's valid until January 20th. Here you can see that I decided to add more color to the background, so here I'm just dry brushing with this beautiful sky blue color. As you could see in this painting, I basically went back and forth just layering one layer after another and refining on the details. It took me so many layers before I liked how this painting looks and in the beginning I just wanted to throw it out. But it happens to me all the time, I always hate those first stages when my paintings looks like something that a preschooler could do and usually when I push through and continue working on it, in the end I am glad. So when you are stuck with your painting or you hate it at some point, just take a few days off and then keep working on it. Don't throw it away. I did it few times and I always regret it later because almost everything can be fixed. Also, this painting is available for sale. I will put link in the description and also in the pop-up window. And I am also thinking about making some prints from this painting, uh, may maybe even on canvas with some embellishment paints texture and the gold leaves. So let me know in the comments whether you would be interested in that. Anyway, I let myself go with this painting, especially when I was working on the background. I wanted to be textured and abstract and colorful. I used so many techniques on it and I just enjoyed the process. When I was finished with the painting itself, I decided to add some white paint splashes, but only on the skirt, so I tried to cover the rest of the painting with some towels, especially her body. The last step in this painting is to add some gold leaves. First I applied a little bit of gilding medium, I did it off camera because honestly it was transparent and not very interesting to watch and then I let it sit for 15 minutes and then I applied pieces of leaves on top of it. 
funny thing, uh, the gilding medium is completely transparent and after 15 minutes I absolutely could not see where exactly I applied it. Luckily it's quite sticky to touch, so first I had to find where my canvas was sticky and then I could put a leaf over it. <laughs> it was the first time for me to using gold leaves. I wanted to try them for a long time and I really like the results, so I will definitely be using them again. And that's it for this video. I honestly hope you like this painting. If you do, please hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also let me know in the comments what do you think about this painting, I would love to hear your opinion. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'm happy to be back and I will see you in my next video, bye bye!